You have already achieved goals you said would make you happy once you achieve them. So <clears throat> why am I making this video right now? I'm making this video um, because I wanted to not only refresh my memory um, with some of the things that I've learned over the past couple years, but I also wanted to, to distill some of this information and pass it along to whoever needs it. Um, you know, the past few years I've been following a lot of people like Alex Hormozy or Chris Williamson or the Tate brothers, you know, whatever you think of them, that's irrelevant. Um, but a lot of the, those types of guys have a lot of awesome things to say and a lot to learn from. Uh, and so <clears throat> one of the things I wanted to start with today was you've already achieved goals you said would make you happy once you achieve them. So that being said, I think a lot of us get stuck in this loop of, oh, this job sucks. If I, can, if I just get to this job, it's going to be, everything's going to be great. I'm going to be happy. Or if, you know, if I just get that thing, that car, I'll be happy. If I just buy that, whatever it is, I'll be happy. If I just get in shape, excuse me, if I just get in shape, whatever it is, I'll be happy. Um, and I think what we lose sight of is actually what's making us happy is the pursuit of that goal and the setting of that goal. Because how often, you know, do you achieve the goal you want? You've got that new job somewhere, you know, you're like, I'm sick of this place. I'm moving on to the next new job. It's going to be great. It's going to be new. And in six months it wears off and you're like, yeah, this all, this still sucks. Right? So we get caught in that trap of, of thinking the next thing, the next thing, the next thing will be better instead of realizing it's not really the thing you're after. You actually get a lot of fulfillment just by um, being in the pursuit of the goal and watching whatever it is take place and grow and change in front of you, whether it's your body because you're working out or you're trying to get a promotion so you can see you can get the accolade you see that growing your career growing right and so you think the next promotion the next job the next the next and you think the next thing is what you want but really it's just the growth and the setting of the chasing of the goal is what you want the thrill of the chase right um and so to put that all into perspective i really uh, i've learned a lot from them those guys i mentioned earlier too and you know, especially Alex Hormozy has tons of good clips. If you don't follow him on YouTube, you should absolutely go watch everything he has. He, I don't think I've heard a bad thing come out of his mouth. Um, that guy, I don't even think he's human. I think he's a, he must be a machine. He must not be real. Um, but, uh, you know, when you're achieving those goals or you're, you're getting in shape or you're, you're doing whatever you want to do, um, you know, you really got to sit back and think about are you achieving those goals or buying that thing, getting that new car or getting the promotion or whatever the next thing is? Are you doing that because you want to do it and maybe, you know, to prove something to you or are you doing it to um, achieve a goal because of what someone else thinks, right? Are you doing it because you seek the approval of someone? Um, I think when you're doing that, you know, you really got to think about why am I even seeking that person's approval? Um, you know, you're gonna, um, you know, it, it could be hitting goals that you don't even care about to seek the approval of someone you don't even care about, whether it be a, a parent or a sibling or somebody you work with, um, you know, you, you get to be the next big CEO or whatever it is. If it's something you want, that's awesome. Um, but if you're doing that just for the, the the proof, you know, to somebody else at work or to get that accolades of someone else, uh, you know, I think you're you're losing sight of what's important. You know, it could be that you're you're chasing these goals or you're chasing that thing um, to to get recognition from someone that doesn't even matter it might not even be your goal you just have this you know feeling that this pressure of 
some you know the seeking the approval of someone else and at the end of the day in you know the ne next generation or you'll you know a couple years from now you'll part ways with those people you may you know in a couple generations you'll you'll be dead and it won't matter anyway their approval right so you really need to I found I really need to focus on what is the best for my family and also was just simply what is the best um, goal to set for myself and what makes myself feel fulfilled and you know um, because success looks different to everyone right you have people that success is being the CEO to them or success is being a billionaire with a B or success is you know just having you know the free time to be able to travel the world at their leisure or success is being a, the best parent you can possibly be um, and all, you know all those things intertwine and affect each other obviously but what I'm trying to say is success looks different for everyone so stop trying to gauge your success or your goals or your whatever on someone else uh, and what they think is successful because then you're playing their game at their rules that they set up right instead of playing your game according to your rules and setting up you know the, the goals you want to achieve that make sense for your vision of success not for you know a, a CEO's vision of success is completely different you know than let's say a firefighter or something right like the firefighters vision of success is keeping the community safe and saving people a CEO's job is completely different right so I think a lot of people that are achieving goals might feel good and that's can be why you're chasing the next thing the next thing is you're not you're setting those goals for maybe for somebody else and not setting those goals for you uh, that also brings me to the flip side of that coin is are you not achieving your goals? Are you not going after the thing you want to go after again because you are worried about what someone might think? You know, is it, are you worried about, oh man, if I quit my job and I want to go start an ice cream business or is it, I, you know, I don't want to, take that promotion because I'm worried that someone might think I'm, you know, a suck up to the boss, but really I do want the promotion. I want to move up, you know, or is it that, um, you know, if maybe you, you want to get in shape, but you're, you, you want to eat healthier, you want to do something like that, but you're worried that the people around you don't want to do it with you and they're going to try to bring you down or whatever it is. You can't listen to those people. You can't, if you're worried about doing something, you're not going after what you want to go after. You're not achieving what you want to achieve. And you're doing it just simply because of what people might think, you know, A, figure out who those people are um, and then determine why are you, why do you even care what they think? Or is it just this general feeling of what someone might think? Well, then reset yourself and be like, I don't even know that someone, I can't even put my finger on who I'm worried will think whatever it is. Right. So then it's like, if you're, if you're, if you can't even name the person that you're worried about thinking the thing that they want, it then, then doesn't even matter and just go and do the thing you want to do and go achieve the goal you want to achieve or go, you know, on that trip you want to go on or whatever it is. Um, so I think, we get caught up in this this loop of overthinking things and not just doing what the goal we want to do or you know achieving the promotion or whatever it is um and I, again it's a lot of it comes down to what we care what other people think and chances are the people we thought were gonna think the thing we thought weren't even thinking it to begin with they didn't even care they were off playing their own game to their rule like i said you, you get caught up playing in someone else's game according to someone else's rules and then you're doomed to fail right from the start i just wanted to go back to my kind of first point in the beginning of the video 
and uh, talk about, you know, why are you doing the things that you're doing? Are you doing them, um, you know, in spite of someone? Are you doing that to prove to prove to someone something? Because if you are, you can absolutely use that as the fuel, but you can't let that control you and take over your every waking thought. Um, what I mean by that is an example, like let's say you were in high school, you were picked on for being poor or being out of shape or whatever it was. And you thought next time they see me, you know, maybe at the, our high school reunion, I'm going to be so rich. I'm going to own a company, six houses, blah, blah, blah. Or you thought next time they see me, I'm just going to be in crazy good shape. I'm going to be, I'm going to be an NFL player because they said I sucked at football in high school or whatever it was and then you end up going back to your reunion and go up to that person and say see look look how much money I have now look how it, you know good a shape I'm in now look at the my stats as a football player whatever it is right this is a hypothetical example that person you're all those years since when they picked on you that person still has that power over you, that, that mental, you know, control over your thoughts and it's still affecting you. And so really you can use that as, as that revenge feeling as fuel because that's might help you get to your goals, but you can't let that be why you're doing the things you're doing, right? Because then, in the end, that person wins the, the game, if you will, right? You, they'll say, you spent all that time working out or practicing football just because of what I said 10 years ago, or, you know, you, you went and bought, uh, you know, you went and made all this money and became successful and you bought all these, all these things just to prove to me that you weren't poor or whatever like they don't care they haven't thought about you why are you still thinking about them um so you can use that as as your fuel but you really need to be careful that you're using it as fuel and it's not using you to still control you the thoughts does that make sense so so with that i think is about done for today's video but um <clears throat> i think you guys get what i'm trying to say and i'm going to be making some more videos but moral of the story here is you know do do the thing you want to do don't wait for you know don't wait for someone else to give you the green light or give their approval you know why do you even seek their approval so that makes sense give this a like share it with somebody you know comment down below let me know what you think but uh yeah I'll talk to you guys later